Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Quest for Knowledge. Today we are going to go through with the summary which is called Endymion written by John Keats and it is gonna be very helpful for BCom and BBA <coughs> students from Bengaluru City University. So let's get started. Let's understand about the author. John Keats, 1795 to 1821, was an English romantic poet who is considered as one of the greatest figures in English literature. He was born in London and had a relatively short life. But into in his short life, he has made a remarkable body of poetic work. Keats is also known for his rich, imaginary, sensual language and exploration of themes such as beauty, love, nature and transience of life. His poetry often awakens a sense of melancholy and longing. Okay, Keats' work is characterized by his skillful use of language, his attention to sensory detail and his ability to capture emotions. So, first of all, we'll understand about the story. Endymion is an epic poem written by John Keats, one of the great romantic poets in 1818. The poem tells the story of a young shepherd named Endymion and his search for ideal beauty and love. In the beginning of the poem, Endymion has a dream where he encounters the moon goddess Cynthia, Selena actually, Selena is here called as Cynthia, okay, in a more uh, pure meaning or pure name, Cynthia. He becomes deeply infatuated with her and desires to be united with her. This set him on a journey to seek his beloved goddess. This is just to understand the story of Endymion. After this, we'll go to the real summary which is needed for your uh, for your uh, uh, syllabus. Endymion, after that, he goes into the journey. He encounters various adventure and meet different characters along the way. He travels through stunning landca landscapes and um, uh, goes into a very mysterious journey and experience both moment of joy and sorrow. And after that, he still remains committed in the pursuit of love and beauty. After the Endymion travel, during his travel, he meets many people. He meets Glaucus, who is an old philosopher who becomes his guide. Glaucus imparts wisdom to Endymion about the nature of beauty, the power of imagination, the significance of embracing both joy and pain in life. These lessons shape Endymion's understanding and character. Endymion's journey eventually leads him to the realm of the Titans, where he witnesses a great battle between the forces of darkness and light. In the midst of those chaos, he is finally reunited with Selena, the moon goddess. Their reunion is a moment of fulfillment and transcendence for Endymion, as he is finally united with the one he always desired. After that, the poem concludes with a vision of Endymion and Cynthia ascending to the heavens where they will dwell together in eternal love, eternal love, never-ending love and beauty. Throughout Endymion, Keats explores the theme of love, beauty, the power of imagination and the pursuit of idealized ideals. Endymion is actually a very complex, symbol-rich poem that delves into death of human desire. Uh, and longing for transcendence. Here Keats' vivid imaginary and lyrical language create a dreamlike atmosphere drawing readers into a mythical world. Actually the story is uh, in order to get that eternal beauty and love Endymion has to sacrifice uh, he has to sacrifice that uh, he has to go into eternal sleep then only Selena can meet Endymion uh, daily or uh, every night so that he has to sacrifice his uh, he has to sacrifice uh, in order to attain eternity of love and beauty he has to sacrifice himself and go into deep sleep Okay, so Endymion here journey eventually lead 
so he we have already gone through with this okay so now let's understand proper endymion how he attains immortality endymion is named for the alien shepherd and king of elis in greek mythology he was said to rule at olympia and best known for love he bared for selin who's the moon this has led to many including pliny the elder to cast endymion as an astronomer or at least as one who is quite familiar with celestial movement it means the movement of the moon in mythological account of life of endymion he asks and is given eternal life in order to get the blessing of eternal life he has to sacrifice something so that eternity which he got it was a blessing on the one side and the curse on the other side because he has to remain perpetual sleep in order to in order to uh, remain immortal in, in the pursuit of love and beauty he has to go into perpetual sleep so that selena can attend to him every night the poem starts with the poet's detailing at the length of the power and beauty he believes that the beauty holds over human life he sees it as it is a guiding force beauty is the guiding force and it is accepted and appreciated into one's heart and helps to clear one way through life once one fully knows beauty it will never leave once we come to know what real beauty is it will never going to leave us it will change our perspective every object will start to look beautiful and one must keep in mind that endymion and his immort- immortality is all about beauty the speaker believes that if something is beautiful it is a joy for the life and there is no end for that beauty and it will always be eternal beauty is always refreshing the sheer fact of the thing beauty will keep is it will it will slip into nothingness beauty here is defined with immortality and it is also has no relationship for the human world if you have to keep you have to keep yourself uh, calm and you have to be ready okay and uh, the rest will provide one with sweet dream as well as health and it is refreshing the more time one spends with beautiful things the closer one becomes to earth it means we need to be very closer to the nature so that we can understand what the real beauty is and we all human kind has access to beauty the thing is that we have to open ourselves our eyes towards the real beauty among the darkest day of life beauty will be there to guide us to change our unhealthy thoughts into proper good thoughts and it will change dark spirits into brighter paths and it is also lead to success beauty lead to success whatever the tree old and young we should have to create shady spot for sheep and travelers it means beauty is when you help others when you do benefit to others tree whether it is old or young but if it is giving shadow to animals to the travelers then that is the real beauty so we have to make this world a better place to live and to live let other people to live so that is the real beauty if you become something like a cooling covered in the hot season then that is the real beauty so beauty is eternal it is never ending the powerful world word that the speaker just described is with the world if we have imagined for the mighty dead the world of living is just as impressive as that of the death if life is as important then even the death is also as important they are both are together they are equal and uh, beauty is able to move through life it will move from one life to the other and uh, beauty is not gonna gonna uh, end 
okay from one life it will always pass on from person to person so that is all about endymion here it is nothing but uh, here we are describing as uh, endymion gets the blessing of eternal beauty but he, there is a curse in that where he has to get a perpetual sleep along with that the real beauty lies in ourselves that we have to make this world a better place to live in we have to become that cooling coolingness in the hot season what if we don't provide shelter to others whether the tree young or old we have to provide shelter to animals and the travelers then this world will become a beautiful place to live in it means when you are in this world the real beauty is not how you look the real beauty how you are what you are offering to the other people and by that the beauty never ends so that is what we are discussing here in this summary if you found this video helpful do like share and subscribe and comment your suggestion in the comment box and thank you so much for watching